What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Poobin, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. <laughs> Thanks for making this video a part of your day. We are back with my career and backstage with AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan in the last episode. John Cena came out and uh, said we needed to prove ourselves pretty much. And we basically said the same to Cena. He's been around forever. Can he still measure up? Were the uh, the terms and the words they were using. So, after all of that, AJ Styles, um, he's got our back now. He has got our back now. We went to Japan, did some stuff there. And now we are back here in the good old U.S. of A. And let's see what AJ Styles has to say to us here as he stand next to Daniel Bryan. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome, I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. All right, so as you can see there, Puma's donning the all green, getting ready to face John Cena at SummerSlam, which is, as you can see there, it is a submission match. And it looks like we're gonna get the help of uh, AJ Styles here to uh, show us some moves. Let's see what Daniel Bryan has to say. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Triple H has been kind of a D-bag to us. I understand. The man sure knows how to hold a grudge. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. I think we can do that. I think that's uh, easy. Well, it's easier said than done, but I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Daniel Bryan's side match. Go to SummerSlam. We're going to fight Daniel Bryan? He's going to teach us some submission moves? Let's fight Daniel Bryan here. I had an idea of how you I could help you get ready for your submission match with John Cena at SummerSlam, but it would involve you wrestling for a second time tonight. Okay, Daniel Bryan, what does that mean? I can arrange for you to take on Chad Gable in a submission match. It would give you a chance to work on some submission moves before you face John Cena. True, but on the other hand, it would give Cena more film on me to study. That's a good point. It's your call. Okay, so our choice is here. I'll do it. I think the benefits outweigh any possible negatives. Thanks for setting it up. I don't think I have another match in me tonight. Plus, I'd rather train in private so Cena doesn't know what to expect at SummerSlam. Thanks for the offer. All right, let's see. Um, oh, man. Do we face... Do we just go? Man, that's not moving fast enough. I mean, I could just stop at top. Oh, it stopped on the bottom. Um, okay, I don't think so. I think, well, I don't think I have another match in me. So, let's go to SummerSlam. We could, now nah, let's go to SummerSlam. Got podcasts available here. We do. Up to no good with no good. Yeah, we're not going to listen to all that. All right, we're headed to SummerSlam, where we are taking on John Cena in a submission match. Whew. Let's do it. Well, here we go, folks. John Cena lights up the stage and the arena in all this bright green now. Puma's donning the green as well. Just kind of a showing of whatever you can do, I can do better kind of thing. John Cena stands on the stage, pulls out his goofy little towel. Never give up. You're damn right. I'm not giving up. And you know who is going to be giving up? That is you, Mr. Cena. Let's uh, skip this silliness. Here we go. Puma making his way out with AJ Styles. Ah. And ya boink. Puma with AJ Styles knocking all the green. We're wearing every green we can green facing John Cena tonight. So let's do this. Submission match. All right. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, I see you, John. You can wear green, but so can we. Oh, big forearm shots. Oh, and Cena stops him. Pumanow's got his arm hooked up in a hammerlock, but an elbow to the face of Cena takes care of that. Split leg DDT, I think that's called. And now Puma just going to town on John Cena. The crowd solely behind John Cena. Oh, no. Russian leg sweep there, side leg sweep. Puma dives out of the way. Good job there, and a neck breaker to Cena. Holy cow. Off the, jeez, Puma lands hard on his back. And Cena now working the leg area of Puma, and he's going to deadlift Puma right up. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Slams Puma hard onto the mat. Look at, oh, Cena's got him up. Michinoku driver. Puma, though, hops up to his feet. And a nice drop click, drop kick, excuse me. Doesn't seem to affect John at all. Kick to the back of the legs there. Cena with a reversal. Puma following him up. And no, back and forth we go. And Puma gets driven down hard to the mat. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Cena now working the neck area of Puma. And Puma's going to get out of it. Big drop kick knocks Cena down to the mat. Oh, jeez. And another, another moonsault style move. Look at this. An ankle lock on Cena quickly, though. Oh, gosh. No. He has got. Uh-oh. AJ stopping. Whoa. Oh, and a shot to the face. Look at this. And a knee right into the face of Triple H. Oh, my gosh. But that, oh, that saved Puma from getting the uh, STF. Holy cow. Puma hops up to his feet. Boom. Big shot there. Another shot to the elbow. He's going to send Puma across. No. Nope. And he gets out of it. Oh, catches Cena right on the ear. And Puma jumps in. Hurricane Rana. Wow. Holy cow. What a sequence that was. And Puma's going to send John over the top rope and lands right on top of him. Puma now picking Cena up. And an Insiguri puts Cena right back down. My goodness. Back into the ropes, or back into the ring. Look at this. Look at this. Puma's got the calf crusher on Cena. Cena taps out immediately. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Cena has tapped out to Puma and the calf crusher. He, it says he proved it here tonight. Uh-oh. Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle? Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. Uh-oh. We just got drafted over to Raw? I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan. And we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Oh, boy. The Raw GM has spoken. Puma is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. It's damn true, says Kurt Angle. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. Okay, well, it looks like we are backstage at SummerSlam. We're going to head to Raw, but let's take a look at our messages here. No excuses. You were the better man tonight. You proved that. You measure up. Thank you, John Cena. You put the calf crush on you, boy. Sorry trade announcement came out of nowhere, but had to keep negotiations with Kurt Angle confidential. He made me an offer I couldn't turn down. Good luck on Raw. You're going to do really big things. So I wonder who they traded for. See you on Monday. Well, we'll, we'll pretend this says Puma. What a night. Glad I could be a small part of it. Can't believe they're sending you to Raw. But we made a bond here that can't be broken that easily. I've got your back. 
no matter what show you're on. That means a lot coming from AJ Styles. Charlotte Flair, sorry you're going to Raw, but that win over Cena deserves a great big woo! Okay, that's weird coming from her. All right. Let me... Not what I wanted to do there. Okay. Oh, man. So, Chapter 9 shows a busted guitar in the ring. Who is that going to be? Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I turned off the audio. I guess I'm going to have to back out and do it. Um, and I'll do that right now. Then we will head over to Raw. Okay, so I turned the commentary back on. I had it turned off getting things ready for our universe mode. So uh, we got the commentary back on so we can hear them when they talk about the cutscenes. Let's head over to Raw, see what's happening. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, we got the Miz. We got the Miz We're garage. here tonight for a very special occasion to celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Miz TV. Miz Taraj clapping away. Maurice back there. When my hand there. goes up, your mouth goes shut. What are you, a kindergarten Show teacher? Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. 10 minutes? Look at both towels is looking is at him like Buzz meant uh, when he talked about making it big Here comes Puma. This is unbelievably disrespectful Bro, to the international You're supposed to be wearing champion. a mask. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, oh, I'm really no. not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate the Miz on making it to 100 episodes. Yeah, I doubt it. Okay, we are out here in training gear. This is not smart. Uh, yeah, attack the Miz. We don't even have to think about that. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Um, I'm thinking I'm Answer doing me, this. I didn't time that very well. Boom! There's your answer. Oh, Bo Dallas. And now the Mr. Oz quickly yeah. join in on the fight. Kind of felt that it's was three on one. Uh oh, here we go. Skull crushing finale. Skull oh, crushing man. finale. Plus his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Ladies Welcome and gentlemen, to another edition of TV's longest-running weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Woo! Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge the Miz. This is fantastic, by the way. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. This is freaking great. We got great. a new guy here named Buzz. Who got beat down by the Miz? If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. 
He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. Boo. Yeah. That's I what I thought. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Here we go. Elias' music, I would oh. welcome an earthquake. And now we're in Seems our like gear. Buzz isn't a fan either. That can only mean one thing. Even though we have a microphone in our hand. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. Boy, Puma's stepping in here, doing big things. Ooh, I kind of want that Intercontinental Championship, so let's call out the Miz here. Well, other than that atrocity of a song, I don't have a problem with you yet. But I do have a problem with the Miz after what he has so called Miz Taraj did to me last week. So, Miz, I'm calling you out right now. Buzz oh, and he, really and he kill, and he, okay, he's answering. <laughs> First off, Elias, I want to apologize for your beautiful acoustic set being interrupted by this simpleton who obviously doesn't appreciate art or culture. Maurice looks amazing. He did it to me last week, too. Second of all, Buzz, I don't care what you do or say. You're not getting a shot at my Intercontinental title. But... Since it seems like you're dying for a fight, I have another idea. How about you face the Miz Taraj in a handicap match tonight? Hmm, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. I thought the guitar disappeared. I don't know. That was weird. All right. Let's see. You know what? Sounds good. In fact, why not add Elias to their team too? Then I can beat all three of them and show the WWE Universe what a like, fighting this, champion this punk. is supposed to look like. You are dumber than you look. Oh, no. I second that. All right, so we are in a triple threat, or no, excuse me, we are in a handicap match against Elias and the Miz Taraj, even though we were already in the ring. We're gonna, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Let's just skip this. All right. Let's uh, keep it going here. We're going to keep skipping all these. You know that. Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, do you believe? Oh, jeez. Uh, do you believe? Says Corey Graves obnoxiously. And from Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds. No. Byron, I'm not going to ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Ray. No. All right, so at least it's a tag triple threat. This is it. Handicap action is Oh, chops and sl Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, hung across the top rope there, and we start this thing off in a bad way. Elias now picking Puma up, wrenching on, oh man. And like nice Jesus. whip there from Elias. Holy cow. Elias really taking it to Puma and just throwing Puma across the ring there. Puma's up hands and knees here. And a lot, jeez. Okay, I'm on. I'm physically hanging onto the ropes. And now Puma goes all the way into the corner. Looks like Elias is going to be. Oh no, he doesn't want to tag in anybody. Instead, Puma hits him with a Hurricane Rana, and then just starts the wailing. Uh that's right. And a kick to the back. Like oh my God! He looks to be a little surprised right now. What a freaking big boot that was! Puma's drug over. Now Bo Dallas is tagged in here. This thing appears to be slipping away from Oh man! Elbow drop to the lower back, and Bo is just trash talking Puma here. 
working on that arm. Picking up Puma. Oh, shot to the face. Oh, man, hung Puma over the top rope. Good grief. Oh, jeez. Why can't I? Like, none of my reversals are freaking working. What is that about? Oh, jeez. Like, I can't reverse all of a sudden. He should have kept taking Nexus members out because even without Darren Young, why can't I reverse? Their goal that night, defeat John Cena. He lands the um, hold up. Why can't I reverse all of a sudden? Entrance interval. I don't even know what that means. Something's up. Something is up right now, and I can't reverse, and I don't like it. Like, I'm not even getting the option anymore. I don't know what the hell is going on. Puma slung across the ring up, and a backflip into that head scissors whip. You know how Puma likes to do. Stomping away now on Bo. And, oh, and then delivers. Oh, another kick to the back. Oh, Puma will look to go for a big stomp on Bo. Instead delivers a nice Hurricane Rana. Look at Puma here. Jumping knee right across the chest. Puma again getting Bo up. He's got to get Bo away from his teammates there. Big kick right to the chin. Elias trying to come in. Uh. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Nice job there Looking from the Puma. Hey guys, Bo Dallas getting up to his feet. Puma, look at this. Oh, my God. Stomp. Oh, he flips completely over Bo Dallas here. And now, looks like Puma is in control. Bo Dallas doesn't have a chance here. Off the middle rope. Oh man, face first goes Bo. Puma now from the second rope and splashing hard on Bo Dallas. Oh man. Puma's firing it up, getting it ready here. Center of the ring is Bo and he gets blasted. But we got to get Elias to red health. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh man, we can we can focus on the Miz. That's kind of cool. Tag Elias in. Bo. No. Do I need to just put you over there? Oh. Oh. Huh. Woo. Tagging Elias, Bo. All right. Jumping DDT sends Bo Dallas down to the mat. Elias, what the hell are you doing? Oh man. And unfortunately for him, there was Frickin no water in the pool. Good point by Byron Earl. Jumping There's DDT now to you got to take it. The last thing you want to, to uh, do is hang around for no reason. Curtis Axel. You, bad things happen when you do that. You don't believe me. And a DDT there. Skip versus Barry Horowitz from Puma, though. Backing up. Big knee right across the chest. Pole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a Puma now. He's got Kurt, a Kurt Axel. Saying, Curtis Axel. What am I even saying? Came back to haunt it. Oh man, what a reversal by Axel. Absolutely not. No. Spinning kick to the Uh oh. And another one. Face first goes Axel. Oh. Puma now. He has got him hooked up. Look at this. Double arm DDT. Right into a moonsault from the second rope, boy. Puma is in full control. Of this matchup, snapping the body and neck of Curtis Axel here. We need a tag in to Elias, so please do that. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap matches. Corey was saying earlier. He get also made quite a name for himself. Oh, off the turnbuckle here. So Elias can be tagged in. 
I think my favorite Andre the Giant Battle Royal moment Jeez. came at WrestleMania Come on now. He there he goes. He's in the corner now. And Elias wants the tag. Let's give it to him. Come on. Okay. That was a bad decision. Into the corner we go. Hopefully, man, I don't know what the deal is, but I can't reverse. I don't see anything anywhere that says I'm not allowed to do such things. What a move. There are certain superstars who are from Bo and Kurt Curtis. I don't know why I keep saying Kurt. There's a reversal. Crimey. Sheesh. And an insecurity to Bo. Elias, is this your man? I couldn't agree with you more about what you I mean, come on now. It seems like Big Show has been in and Hurricane Rana, another Hurricane Rana there. Believe it or not. We want Elias. Yeah, we don't care about the Miz Taraj at this particular moment in time. Elias MVP wants the tag. I say we give it to him. Come on. No. No, Curtis. No. Now, okay, there we go. Bo, tag in Elias, brother. Just hit All right. the finisher, you're not going to do it, then I'm just going to drop kick you in your lower back and then kick you right in the face because you don't know what it is that you're doing. Okay. All right, he's tagged in Curtis Axel again. And oh, drop to the lower back. And uh, apparently I can't reverse again. I don't understand what's happening. I don't even have the uh, the option. Jeez. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Is that his move? Too fast. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Now, I mean, it's like my reversal is working sometimes and not others. Definitely didn't work that time. And I had to... That's what he was looking for, Michael. I can't do any minor reversals, it looks like. Get off of me! Holy cow. Holy cow. Puma was able to get out of that one. Into the corner now. D Damn, Bo! Okay, now Elias is in, but we are freaking jacked right now. Oh, gosh. Come on. Get. If you don't get off me. And how about this? Puma Gree. The ref, you need to stop all these guys. All right, here we go. Pointing at, right at you. This is for you. Boom! Oh, man. And Puma now just wailing away on Elias. A Puma Gree, then the Puma's bite. Oh. Jeez. Shots to the midsection. And we can't reverse it all now. Oh, man. Oh, what's happening? Oh, man. A huge elbow. Off the top rope from Elias. And now, what is it? Oh, man, a neck breaker there. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Get, get out of here, Elias, you pile of trash. Don't tag any. Damn it. This is proving to be uh, a pain in the butt. There was no getting him over that top rope that night. Come on, Puma, get up, man. Bo and Elias are wondering what this fool is doing, and Miz is doing as well. And he goes down for the pin. Just not even a one count. Get off me. You can bet this one's gonna be over. Oh, What? Oh. I think no, I turned out that's all on. Hmm, okay. Yeah. All right. Not getting there fast enough. 
Damn, man. I don't know what's happening with the reversals. This is my controller. I mean, it can't be my controller. That's how you wear down your opponent. Come on now. I'm with Corey. I just Puma is beat up, man. Beat up. Beat up right now. There we go. Why can't I do this across the board here? Damn, I don't understand. Tag in Elias. I'm done with you. We've seen some pretty Elias wants the tag. Bring him in. I got a curb stomp with his name on it. Well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that saw John Cena take on no. six members of get, the Nexus. We get out of here. His move. And an Enziguri sends Bo, or excuse me, sends Curtis Axel down to the mat. Guys, at this point, I'd be shocked if his oh, is able to oh boy, that ain't good. Well, we are getting majored left and right. Run. Curtis we can't even run. And a whipper snapping neck, whatever that thing is called. Jeez. No. Shoot, golly, we kipped up right into that freaking neck buster thing. Damn. Well, that's annoying. All right, we'll try again, though. That's for sure. Okay, so it's taken me four, four times to uh, freaking beat this, but right here, Elias gets a little cocky. We hit him with that Insiguri, and it triggers. Here we go. Elias pulls the referee in, and we just blast him right in the face with that elbow. The Miz slides in Elias' guitar, but Puma intercepts it and blasts him right across the back of him of Elias, slides that guitar out of the ring, wakes up the referee, Puma gets down there for the pin, the ref crawling over one, two, a very slow count, three, and Puma just defeated the Miz, Taraj, and Elias with the Miz at ringside, and Puma's pointing at the Miz, telling him he's coming for him, Elias, is, he knows what's up now, nobody's fooling around and messing with Puma, that's for sure. Puma definitely coming for that Intercontinental Championship now. Oh, okay. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's oh. Intercontinental Championship. Well, he doesn't even look back. Puma, what's the matter with you? Holy moly. Okay, we got a lot of things going on here. Sasha Banks is in here, apparently. The Miz Taraj can't figure out what's going on. The Eli Elias has got himself a new guitar. Yikes. All right. Well... I'm going to cut it for this episode, mainly because I'm recording this. It's uh, freaking past midnight here, and I'm frustrated with that stupid uh, uh, handicap three-on-one match. So that is going to be it for this episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're not. Come back soon. Hopefully we can freaking fight without having to do it a million times.